and everybody loves talking about being vulnerable and transparent until it comes time for them to be vulnerable and transparent. Uh, I think everyone loves talking about how there's this lack of transparency and vulnerability in social media until it's time for them to be vulnerable and transparent on social media. Like that's, that's just kind of, it's rampant. What I've, what I've found over the last couple of years doing all this crazy stuff on social media is that I saw that gap and I saw the lack of vulnerability and transparency and so I became vulnerable and transparent but in the beginning it was as like a tactic like it was just like a tool like I knew I needed to stand out and in order to make an impact I needed to be transparent and so it was more like just like using this tool of vulnerability rather than being like truly truly vulnerable. Would emotional over would, would emotional oversharing and undersharing have the same effects? I think that there's been a theme on social media lately as vulnerability and authenticity and transparency has become more real, which is a good thing for social media specifically. But there are, are some people that are taking it to an extreme and are sharing everything mm -hmm. and are almost exaggerating the struggles mm -hmm. and exaggerating the pain and exaggerating the problems for the sake of, I'm the most transparent, I'm the most vulnerable, look at what I shared about, look how many times I cried this week on Facebook, <laughs> like literally. And, and that is oversharing. But I think the question and really the answer boils down to what is the truth? Like being authentic means being authentic, like means being real. It's not just sharing for the sake of putting stuff out there. It's sharing what you're actually going through. And I don't know if anybody's going through too much. I think it's sharing in a way where you're trying to make it a bigger deal than it is, which is only going to create a bigger deal. <laughs> um, and I think, you know, when it comes to like with a specific person that you're talking to is oversharing the same as undersharing. I think it depends on what you're dealing with. Yeah. Like, who you're sharing it with. And in your heart behind it. Like if you're oversharing then it and it's from an authentic place, it's not oversharing. Like it's what you're going through. But there's a big difference between sharing and complaining. There's a big difference between sharing and whining. There's a big difference between sharing and dwelling. Like sharing, getting it off your chest, but then like saying, okay, I've shared this, now let's come up with a solution is one thing. But the oversharing probably comes, and this question probably comes from someone who's been interacting with a person that every time they see that person, all they do is share all the stuff that they're going through. And all they do is share the struggles. But there's a congruent message through that that this person, all they do is share. Really, all they do is whine and complain, but they're not doing anything about it. So at some point, like, it's, you know, it's tough love, but at some point you have to be that person that says, hey, hey man, hey, you know, Every time we've met over the last month, you've been talking about this thing. And I mean, I understand, like, it's painful what you're going through, but what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing to get past it other than just sharing it with everybody? And that's where I think oversharing comes in is that all you're doing is sharing it, you're not solving it.